Hey guys, this is Emily from Boo Elm. Uh, I'm here today and I had an idea to make a radiator cover. So this is the radiator. And as you can see, I have a really nice window and it's just a lot of wasted space. So I went to the uh, Home Depot um, and with the coronavirus going on right now, everybody was there, which is funny. We all decided we we're going to do projects. And I got a, uh, I cut, they cut the wood there for you, which is awesome. So I do have a circular saw, but it's much easier when you just have somebody cut it for you. And they are nine inches, uh, nine by... They're nine by twos, and I got two pieces that were 27 inches long because that's the length up high, and then uh, the remainder piece actually was, I did 35, but it wasn't long enough. Thank God the other piece was long enough, so it's actually going to go a little bit past it. I think it's probably around yeah, 50 inches left which actually is perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just put it here just to double check that I did the measurements right and I'm going to use a, a drill which if you're afraid of drills, I know as a girl usually it's pretty scary. I just started last year and it is awesome now. I love it. Um, I'm not scared anymore and you shouldn't be either. So this is the drill and DeWalt is my favorite brand so either going forward going back and you want a drill bit which is these little guy here which comes I also bought a, a box of drill bits and then that is what you use you just tighten up the uh, I don't know what this is called honestly and then that's what you use to put the screw in. And it just goes on right there and then you screw that into the piece of wood. And I use Spax. Um, they are exterior deck screws, but I wanted this to be a cheap project. The piece of wood was about $20. I just really want to get a cover on there so I can put plants and you can see them. And that they're not right on the, directly on the radiator because uh, it gets too hot for the plant and it was killing my one plant that I did do that with. So it's really just a stand not to waste the space. So. It's two inches, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that now.
Okay, so I've got both pieces on there. The pieces are attached, but those come up a little bit and I didn't want them to. And it's not super steady. Um, I can try to put a plan on it, see how strong it is. Hold the plan, I'm not really gonna worry about it. So I switched to a different drill. Small but mighty. Take the battery. Now I'm gonna sand it. So this, uh, I have this little tool here for sanding. Um, it has a nice, so you don't scratch up your hands on this side. Uh, you just put the sanding paper and it clips in there and everything. So, just gonna sand this down. You know, go with the grain of it. Smooth it out. It'll make it easier to stain it. And just give it a nice look. I mean, I know I got this grain in here, so it is what it is. Especially for this end pieces where it's rough like that. I'm gonna get all those. So I'm just gonna go around everywhere and do this. And I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, I got this filler. Uh, it says it's for hardwood, but I'm gonna try it on the holes from the screws, see what happens. This is pretty old stuff too, also. I think it's something my mom left here. Just smooth it. But it's like a more natural stain also, which is why I like it. Just to seal it a little bit, just so it's not raw wood. This is the first time I've built anything for inside the house. So this is kind of an experiment. 
but it's going to be over the radiator and behind a chair. You're not really going to be staring at it a whole lot, so I'm not worried about it being perfect. I've also gotten that past being a perfectionist about most things. Um, I'm more of a get it done personality. I have to do that at work all the time, so at home, in my own personal life, I'd rather be a little more lenient on myself. So, that's my thoughts on that. This is really cool, actually. I like how it looks. And of course, definitely want to do the stain outside. Definitely don't want the stripping on your floors. Holly way. It's supposed to be more natural. Yeah. Wow, oh, I'm really liking that actually. Going around where I put the filler. I don't want to hit that yet. Not until that dries. It's also good to seal wood because my plants, when I water them, I'm not the most careful. So, I tend to spill a lot of water.